Welcome back, everybody. Today, we'll be taking a look at the latest live stream by Long Island Audit, where he announced that he was indicted with three charges. One of them is contempt of court, and he is facing up to one year in jail. Now, he did this live stream in front of the police station or the courthouse, and there were massive audio issues. Let me just show you a quick sample of what the audio originally sounded like. So yeah, you can barely understand what he's saying. Luckily for you guys, I have my editing software here and I can remove most of the background noise. The audio is still not going to be perfect, but at least you'll be able to understand what he's saying. Now, halfway through this live stream, as I was screen capping it, he removed the live stream, so he put it private. I'm assuming he did that because of the audio issues, and I'm also assuming that he'll do another live stream with proper audio to inform his audience of what happened. But for those who want to know what happened right away, I fixed up the audio for you guys. And without further ado, enjoy the video. Another video. I'm going to get it back again with another video. We're coming to you live from right outside the Nassau County District Court. I was just arraigned on three charges. The first one is criminal contempt in the second degree, carrying up to a year in jail. Uh, the second charge is criminal trespassing in the third degree, which carries up to 90 days in jail, and then the violation of trespass, which carries up to 15 days in jail. This case, just to give you context, is when I was arrested at the Nassau County Parking and Traffic Violations Bureau. I was unlawfully arrested at the time for just trespassing because I was apparently trespassing. Mm -hmm. so, um, later on, I found out that I'm charged with criminal contempt in the second degree, which is a class A misdemeanor. So I'm here with my attorney, Jacob Uriel. He's representing in Schenectady in Brooklyn and in Nassau. We are together 4 and 0 in these criminal uh, proceedings. And I just wanted to let everybody know, give you guys an update on what's going on here. So, Jacob, we have the supporting depositions of the complaints here. So, Jacob, you want to give a rundown of what happened today in court? Sure. So when we first got to court, they kind of dropped all these papers on me and they wanted to do the arraignment right away. And what we did was we took a break. We asked for second ball, which means we asked for ties to, to go look at the people. Yeah, right. And there's nothing in there that surprised me. There's nothing in there that surprised me. So we saw the video, we know what happened. What they're trying to claim is that there's a criminal contempt just based on a sign in the courthouse and not an actual court. But what happened at court was, after I looked at the paperwork, we got back to the court, and I didn't want to put a plea in on this case, because in my opinion, I've been doing this for a while, this doesn't make out a crime to the point where I don't think the, the document itself is legally sufficient. So we were told we had to from the police, so obviously we said that guilty. And at that point, I made an argument, pretty much an argument that I don't like when we make it here, is that this is government over. They're basically trying to create a criminal contempt. Mind you, this is a law that was passed when someone gets loaded protection, or do you stay away from your ex-girlfriend, something like that. They require the law process from Andrew. Now, one thing's for sure, I really do hope that the prosecutors and the cops know what they're doing because last time they charged him with the wrong crime, the case was dropped, it just doesn't look good. If you constantly arrest the guy and you're never able to make the charge stick, that's a problem. So I hope that they heavily research this, they know what they're doing, and then they can send him off for a little forced vacation because we could all use it. And I'm sure the people of Long Island and everywhere else could use a vacation from Sean. So yeah, it's still hard to understand. The editing software is being pushed to its absolute breaking point, but at least we can make up what he's saying for the most part. So let's keep listening in. There's about maybe another three to four minutes before unfortunately the live stream cut off. Last time on the wall, at a traffic violation basically. It's, it's, it's a law that requires actual contempt of, of the process or manual. And for the DA's office to keep that law and try to twist it, I'm not going to say, 
to the boss control. They literally three hundred security down. I mean, the argument that was unbelievable overreach. I, I've never actually seen it in my career. Um, the judge punted it. He adjourned it to a trial part where he told me I could file a written motion, which you're definitely going to do. So basically, in the supporting depositions, from what, you know, everything is on video, right? This is on video, live streaming to you now. My arrest was live streamed. There are a lot of inaccuracies within the within the supporting oh, positions. Yeah. There are inaccuracies. And I can say that clearly and confidently because it's all on video. Everything is completely recorded. So by them saying that I was told to leave the building, they said they, they made allegations in the complaint that I was told to leave the building. You all watched live stream. We all seen the videos with my camera glasses. I was never told to leave the building. But the, to me, the biggest issue is is that I was never served in order. I never spoke to a judge. I said I was recording in a courtroom. I didn't just say that person that I was recording in a courtroom. You know, let's go to the chat. I'm crazy. Which you know, traffic violations in this is important. I didn't think that. No, I think any reasonable person would think that. And I think it's not worth it. And I don't think past security was just right. That's really important. They're going to try to argue, I'm pretty sure, well, the security checkpoint is designed to be in the cloud. But he didn't actually go past security. Um, so I, I think if we look at what they wrote, and a lot of this stuff, frankly, just watching the videos, I know it's funny to go through some but watching the video and looking at what they're saying. And you can see it just doesn't add up. There's, there's more inaccuracies than I can bring out on the video of the site. But I think from a legal perspective, besides the fact that we all know, obviously, this is statutorily protected ideally, right? There's a right to monitor that from the state. But the, the bigger, I mean, that, that's the bigger issue. The, the, the stuff that we're dealing with right now in court without emotion, right? That's also for emotion. But I really think this case should be considered dismissed right away for basically not having a basis to charge him anything. Because you can't have a court order that doesn't exist. The GC is saying you should have known that some judge would have given him the order. If they got to it. But I think the other interesting point is that I think I'm sure. I don't know how to feel about the legal order. I thought it was very rushed. Um, of course, I get my own special district attorney. Having to say something comes with her. There was a special district attorney. I mean, James, we know the process, but those of you who are familiar, arraignments were done by the same district attorney. And just like that, you saw the exact moment where the video went private. So I guess we'll have to wait till they do another live stream, hopefully at a computer where we can properly hear everything and take a look at the charging documents. But for those who don't know what arrest they're talking about, I'm just going to show a brief clip of that arrest, maybe one to two minutes, just to refresh your memory because LIA gets arrested quite often. He's still dealing with the Schenectady arrest. The decision hasn't been made yet in that case. So let me just show you what arrests we're talking about and then we'll wrap up the video. Are you familiar with the New York State Right to Record, the Right to Monitor Act? So I'm not gonna have that conversation. I just wanted to, I wanted to have a conversation with you about the right to monitor. Video on September 9th. I was here. Yeah, recording. Did I can stand right here that you have who? I'm not supposed to be recording, but like I said, maybe, maybe if you were familiar with the right to monitor act here in New York state and the United States constitution, first amendment, you know, you might think differently about whether I can or cannot record here. I have a source that told me that Patrick Ryder reached out to you personally after that uh, video that I posted and he told you to, you're not going to discuss anything, but ma'am, it's my statutory right and constitutional right to record you in the course of your duty, as well as the security officers here, public safety security officers that are employed by the county. Oh man, I hope they honor their oath, guys. 
We have two vehicles coming up here. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Sharing the video needs to be seen by as many people as possible. We have 4,700 people in here, 1,900 likes. We need more likes, guys. She told me I could stay right here. Ryder doesn't like the fact that I put a billboard truck in front of his house, exposing all his tyranny and corruption. So this is the third precinct. How do I always end up in the third precinct? It's insane. Make sure I'm recording the law enforcement officer, of course, of our duty. Hello, sir. Hey, guys, how are we doing? How are you? Do you mind if I get your names and badge numbers? Officer sure. Goldberg, 4682. Okay. And your name? Officer Bustano, 4624. Thank you. At this time, you are being arrested, okay? You're, you're trespass banned from this location, so please put your hands behind your back, okay? How am I trespass banned? There's multiple reports. And just like that, the live stream shut off. He was arrested and he was arraigned for this event today. Now, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Is this the one? Is this the one where they find him guilty? I'll be looking forward to your comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.